I'm resisting when I don't know if you have dressed it. That when they sit, somebody so called supposed to be resisting, they're not. I want to not. Okay? They scr scream and holler, stop resisting, stop resisting. The person ain't resisting. Five or ten cops jump on this person. Be them near the, I don't even understand why. I'm standing so angry. This is why I don't even want to help the, the police department when something goes down. Because the way you act when you are arresting somebody, it doesn't make sense for ten officers to take down one person, screaming with their knee on their back, they put on their head, one on the throat, talking about stop resisting. What's up with that? Have you addressed it? Are they being the on the same thing? I took this man right now, and we all jumped on him and took him down. All ten of us is going to jail. Is all ten of them being addressed? Are you doing something about that? It just pisses me off when I see that. And I want to help because I come from the streets. And I work where I'm helping people today. But when I see things like that, to protect and to serve, mm -hmm. who are you protecting? And who am I going to get to protect me from you? Yes. What's up with that? Yes. My name is Janice Greenwood. Yes, I am a career educator for the University of Colorado Arts. And I work to help people, and I want to help people, but when I see this, and I constantly see it, you just turn on your TV and you see it. Yeah. It's, just, it's horrible. Has they been addressed? Have you done it? Change that? Has anything changed since then? So first of all, thank you, Ms. Greenwood, because that passion, that anger, that frustration is what I and many of us started with, right? We said we are tired of seeing this. We are tired of seeing our children treated that way. We're trying to see even our elders mistreated. And so all of that anger, all of that frustration, that resulted in this project. So I want to thank you for bringing that to the forefront because that's where we started and we haven't lost that. That is still there. So when they talk to you about we debated, this is why we also debated in part. We wanted to be heard. Will this change anything? That's what we're going to see. And I think where um, Pastor Davis and I are aligned on this is that when he's talking about community accountability, it's true that when we have a viral video of a beating, this room would be filled. We have a great turnout tonight, but it would be standing room only. And we have to turn out not only when we see those things that disgust us, that humiliate us, that tear out our hearts, we also have to be part of the solution of talking about how are we going to quantify these issues that you and I have, and many of the people in this room have endured. And so again, thank you for bringing that forward. I'm not gonna promise you that this is gonna solve that because it's not. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at it through a, uh, through a light of uh, research and community input so that the person who had the question, if nothing changes, whether it's perception or not, we're going to address it. We're going to be back here and we're going to address it. So thank you very much. One more. This is the last one. They should be dealt with like us. The last thing is like, my son was murdered, you understand? We went down to the scene when he was be murdered. Do you know, we tried to ask what happened. This is my son, Dave, right? Don't nobody know nothing. You can't find out nothing. So when we thought it was him, my son and I took a dash to go see. That's when I seen about 10 of them throw him down to the ground. I'm right behind them. And the reason they didn't throw me down to the ground is that when I asked the officer what was going on, he told me to go to the other side. And when I went to the other side, one of the people over there said it was my son. So we took a dash. I didn't get thrown down, but my son did. You see, so how do you go about finding out what's going on if you think it's your loved one down on the ground dead? What do we do there? Yeah. For citizens, how can we how can we defend victims that we don't know? Mm -hmm. One week ago, six boys that I think were underage were accused of having guns and were pulled, they had guns pulled out on them and were being apart. They weren't even there when the cops were originally arrived. There was only white people and then other people with color further in the park. They didn't ask anybody but two white guys, they're not regulars in the park, if they heard gunshots from your new toy, your new ballistics toy. You pull, you guys traumatize six boys for your ballistics toy. You so, didn't ask any neighbors. So, um, and Robin, 